Hi, it's Chase again from SafeSoap. Uh, we're looking today at a volume to volume comparison between the SafeSoap product and a corn cob based absorbent, which you see in the market every once in a while. It usually goes under the name Drysorb. Uh, from a dollar to dollar basis, you would. Uh, this is about half the price of the corn absorbent. So, if we were going to do a dollar to dollar comparison, we'd have uh, two of the SafeSorb, two cups of SafeSorb versus one cup of the uh, Drysorb or of the corn absorbent. But for here, we're just going to do a straight dollar to dollar. Excuse me, a straight volume to volume comparison. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll take the products, pour them out like we usually do. We're going to add one half cup into each of the transmission fluid. and then we'll let them do their work. We'll get them going a little bit, make sure we get as much containment as possible. Uh, what you'll see is with the corn absorbent, you do have some fibers that are going to bring the oil inside, but for the most part, as you can see here, the oil just sticks to the outside of the corn absorbent. So, we'll kind of show how that works. Try to get every bit of, of the corn used. You can see, I'll move some of it aside so you can see what's going on there. We'll do the same with the, with the SafeSorb product. Um, first of all, you can see that it completely absorbs quickly. Um, if I was going to do just a straight comparison here, you can see on my hand. Uh, so that's the comparison between the two products. Um, actually, the SafeSorb also at the end, you've got a relatively dry product, something you can sweep up easily. Whereas with the corn absorbent, you have a very moist product. If you can see that in my hands uh, and see some of it left on the table, I'd probably have to use another cup to really clean and, and, and pick up this uh, uh, oil that we've used here. That's a comparison between the two. I'll take this just for, see nothing there. There we go. Thank you very much.